Hey, Dory. Um, been a long time. Uh, I'm sure you were uh, you were getting a little uh, eager and maybe impatient. Just what was it like? You know, what's it been like to, to get close uh, for all this time and, and then to finally get back out there today? How did it how did it feel for you? Uh, it was really a blessing. You know, I didn't know when I was going to be able to play. I uh, just been praying a lot uh, for my parents and my family. Um, that's been the biggest thing, just trying to pray and, and stay positive and keep faith because uh, it's been a long journey, the ups and the downs, the highs and the lows. You might think it was ready, but it wasn't. So just staying patient and, you know, thankfully, you know, the team was kept encouraging me. And to finally get out there, it, was just, it just felt good. You know, just a blessing to be out there with the guys, uh, fly around, have fun, and do what I love to do. How did you evaluate yourself when it's the first time uh, all season? Uh, I feel like it's a lot of stuff that I could have done uh, better. Uh, even though that you know we can't, we had a, a great team win. Uh, I just feel like little things I can clean up, whether it's you know, where my feet work, my eyes, um, the way I'm in alignment, uh, my assignment, um, just the little things. Just figuring out, going looking at the film, you see what I could have done better, and attack it, and, and trying to improve uh, each day and get ready for next week. Thanks. Yeah, Corey. Uh, excuse me, Adore. Before the uh, the game, you were kind of. So you're moving around and just really testing that knee. Uh, how long do you think it's going to take for you to just kind of have that full confidence in your change of direction and everything with it? Uh, I feel like I had it today. Um, okay. I, if I didn't have any confidence, I would probably have confidence in working and getting into the week and getting together. So and at the end of the day, it's just going out there and playing and, and reacting. Uh, you can't go out there and think, you know, when you think bad things happen or if you try to play timid or try to play to prevent injury, things may happen. So um, I learned that at a young age, no matter what's going on, just go hard, full speed, uh, full tilt all the time. And that's what I did out there today. And then obviously you love this game. There's, there's no doubt in that. So so that time that you were away, what did you miss most? And, and what really bothered you the most in watching some of the things that were happening uh, defensively? Uh, I think what bothered me the most is just not being out there. Um, knowing that I wanted to get back out there so bad, but just trying to listen to my body, not trying to rush anything and understanding that, you know, everything happened for a reason. So the Lord, whatever it was that he put me through, it was it was for a certain reason, for a purpose for me, um, just to revalue, reset, and and get back out there when I can and when I was ready. And for me, I just missed the game, just missed being out there with the guys, having fun. Even when I wasn't out there at practice, just to finally be out there, you know, joke around, just do the things I love, just try to put smiles on people's faces and just, have fun. Uh, that's the biggest thing about it. Uh, you just miss being out there with your teammates, uh, with the coaches, just flying around and just interacting with everybody. And then for you personally, uh, I was watching the communication. There were a couple times, you know, third down situations. There's a crossing route. You're talking and, and you're doing all that. What will it take for you to get fully on the same page and be able to communicate as effectively for the last couple games and into the playoffs? Uh, for us, we just keep working on our practice, you know, being mentally in tune um, throughout the weeks, you know, even though if I wasn't doing a lot, I was still trying to be mentally sharp and understanding the lingo and the things that they were talking about and discussing before I even came back out there. So I would make sure I was, you know, we always talk about the next man up and don't want to lose the beat. And so when I wasn't out there, I was just trying to make sure I was up, up tempo and in tune with what their verbiage were and just trying to play ball. So I think each day, each week, uh, we're going to keep getting better and better uh, until we're back in sync. Luke? Adore, we saw you practice last week, and then I think when you were uh, first put on the uh, designated re return list, you practiced a little bit. What made this the week for you to come back in terms of, of listening to your body and your health? Uh, I just think uh, just the preparation, uh, more uh, being confidence building, um, going out there, understanding what was going on with my body and understanding what I needed to do uh, to get myself ready. For the week, um, then I just said a lot of prayer. You know, I was just praying every night, you know, for the Lord to just not not to give me the sign, but to get me going and get me through uh, the week so I can get out there and compete and perform. So uh, I think a lot of prayer went into that, and I just put it up to God for real. Jim, and, and and what was what has it been like? I, I guess Adore from just a patient standpoint. I knew you wanted to be out there, wanted to play, just just trying to be patient, wait your turn, and um, and how good did it feel kind of running out of the tunnel? Uh, you know, for patience is a virtue. So for me, it was just pretty much just trying to understand I don't want to rush anything or do something that was going to hurt myself or hurt the team as well just by rushing out there. So, um, you know, it's been 13 weeks or however long it's been. That's a hell of a long time. But 
thankful to finally get out there. And I think, you know, the key word is patience. I understand that everything takes time and not being discouraged. And even when I wasn't out there, just uplifting and, and, and cheering on and rooting for the guys who are out there competing and playing because at the end of the day, I want to see them do great uh, in everything they were doing. And, and you guys, I know kid with each other a lot, but what, what were some of the comments you heard maybe in warm-ups on the sideline, just, hey, having your back out there? Do they have a little fun with you? Yeah, I mean, what, what was shocking was I never actually been in the circle with the DBs. Um, usually I'm out there with the returners, so they were strapping hands and giving headbutts, and that was new to me, and that thing last year hurt because I wasn't used to that. But uh, it was just fun being out there, being with them. You know, they said, you know, you know, they was praying for me and thankful to have me back out there, and I just feel good, you know, to hear those guys say it and, you know, try to uplift me and when I was just trying to do the same for them. So um, it's a brotherhood that we have. Uh, we just always try to stay together and keep it going. Three more, then we have AJ here. Yeah, Dory, apologize if you had to ask this, but obviously earlier it looked like maybe you were coming back around like the Steelers game or so. Did you have a setback somewhere in there? And what has this whole process been like for you? Uh, this process has just been a lot of emotions, uh, I would say. Um, the ups, the downs, the highs and lows, you know, experiencing um, just – the bottom, I would say. Um, it's the first time I'd have missed an uh, ample amount of games and not being, out, being out, able to be out there and play. I know I missed some games before, but I was always able to get back out there and compete. So I just think experience on all those emotions um, in life and you go through adversity. Uh, I think it's just one of the things that hit me and I was finally able to you know, overcome it. And I just stayed the course and stayed down and I uh, knew eventually that you was going to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Can you can you take us back to was it the Thursday before the opener a, a, a regular Thursday morning and, and something happened that it was it that day that, and did you know it was was gonna set you back the 13 weeks or, or a long period of time it, you get hurt that day in practice oh uh, yeah I didn't I didn't really know how long it was gonna be um, I didn't know what you know I, it was one of the things where just some, a crazy thing happened to me and. I'm just fortunate enough that, you know, everybody was positive and kept me positive and kept me upbeat. Um, you know, when you hurt, it's one of the worst things you know, to imagine because you're so used to doing things a certain way, living a certain way and doing your, your daily routine and not be able to do that and to be out there and compete with the guys. Um, it hurts, really. Um, it's, it's sickening, I would say, you know, not being able to be out there and do that. So finally be able to come out and be with the guys, man, I'm just thankful for that. Uh, contact yeah. injury, non-contact injury? It's just one of those things where the Lord, he did something and it just hindered me from going out there. Thanks. Appreciate you. Uh, last question, Buck. I'm good, Kim. I didn't have one. Thanks, Lord. Oh, all right, last question, Perry. Were you fearful that this injury when you suffered it was going to be a season ender and you wouldn't be able to play at all this year? No, I wasn't fearful. I was more positive on the, on the, on the um, I was more optimistic of everything. Um, and, you know, glass half full uh, rather than half empty. So I never thought that it was going to be one of those things where it would be a season ender. I always stay positive and everything they asked me to do uh, on the way getting back, I did it, you know, with a positive attitude just so I can. You know, show that I'm here for the team and here whatever it calls me to be to get back out there when I was when I was able to, and it just happened to be today.